name is James Smith. I'm a body technician here at Provincial Chrysler in the Collision Center. I got started in the industry in high school. I took auto body class and I did co-op at a body shop in uh, London, Ontario. From there, I went to Fanshawe College in London and got my license to work in a body shop and continue to do so till now. So my name is Nolan Curd. I'm an automotive service technician at Provincial Chrysler. When I was five years old, I remember watching a race with my father and I wanted to be a race car driver. And I remember saying that to him, oh, I want to be a race car driver, dad. And then there was a big crash and it kind of scared me. I was like, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. And he was like, well, someone's going to have to fix all those cars. And that's kind of what sparked the idea that I could be actually repairing those vehicles. And ever since then, my goal was to become a mechanic. Any advice I would have for somebody that wanted to get into the trade would be go to school for it, learn everything you need to learn, make sure when you do choose a place to work that it's a reputable place. Never be afraid to ask questions. A lot of the stuff I learned in school is good to learn, but when you're on the floor working in a shop and you actually get to see another person working and they teach you something, it's a whole different thing. So it's all about where you work and who you work with. I think a common misconception is that, uh, yeah, I am going to be filthy all the time. And sure, you do have your days that you get dirty, but uh, and everything's computer controlled now. So it's becoming a lot cleaner because you're, you're not so much in the uh, engine itself and you're more diving into the computer. So you have to get a good understanding of software. A lot of the times I'm plugged into the car and I'm just communicating to it with my laptop and I'm trying to isolate uh, you know, the fault that way. The benefits of doing an apprenticeship, you know, you get to go through school, there's grants, different government grants, they pay for tools, and uh, while you're going to school, for 90% of the year, well, you don't go to school, you're in a shop working, and you're getting taught how to do stuff, so you're getting paid at the same time, basically, to go to school, and you're getting taught by the guys in the shop versus a teacher at school. You know, it's a really good, if you like cars and it's your passion, then, then it's, it's just something that you enjoy every day, every day. My education, I started through the uh, Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program and in high school I started in uh, grade 11. So you'd co-op, go to uh, different shops and learn uh, hands-on as well as at school. After OEAP, which is Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, developed into just the apprenticeship. So then you have on-the-job training as well as going to uh, St. Clair uh, for education. Working here at Provincial Chrysler is good. The team at the body shop is good. The, the paint shop is good. We've got everybody in the office. Communication is there, and you know, all, all of us, all of us techs get along. We can ask each other suggestions on how to do something or anything. You know, we all get along and make sure we all get our jobs done. my favorite jobs I had, I spent uh, a whole day of, uh, I was trying to trace down this wiring repair. The lights would flicker in the cab and, and nobody could find it and it had been to a few different shops. So it was kind of a cool project to take on and I had the, the whole vehicle interior just stripped right down to the basics and right down to the wiring harness and I was able to pinpoint the actual cause um, a frayed wire. That was pretty exciting for me. It ended up saving the customer a lot of money. Generally a harness is quite a bit of money. That customer was very happy. For more information on my trade, visit WorkforceWindsorEssex.com.